Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another language arts lesson. To start our lesson, let us look at our sight words. To begin our lesson, let us look at our sight words. I want you to say the sight words when they appear on the screen. So I want you to say the sight words when they appear on the screen. Right, right, look, look, me, me, it, it, he, he. So these are our side words. Now, boys and girls, we're going to play a game and this game I want you to tell me if the sentence is a telling sentence or asking sentence and also you are going to find the sight words in these sentence in these sentences so let us play number one look at the rainbow Look at the rainbow. Is this a telling or asking sentence, boys and girls? Is this a telling or asking sentence? You are correct. This is a telling sentence. And what sight word are we using here? Which sight word are we using here, boys and girls? Which of our sight words? You are correct. We are using look. So let us circle it. Now let us look at the second sentence. Can you raise your right hand? Can you raise your right hand? Is this an asking sentence or a telling sentence? Is this an asking sentence or a telling sentence? You are correct. This is an asking sentence. And which of our sight words are we using here, boys and girls? Which of our, which of our sight words are we using here? Did you say right? Correct. We are using right. Let me circle it. Number three, it is raining. It is raining. Is this a telling sentence or an asking sentence? It is raining. Is it a telling sentence or an asking sentence? You are correct. This is a telling sentence. And which of our sight word are we using here? Which of the sight words are we using here in this sentence did you said it you are correct let us circle it and the last sentence he is going to the park with me he is going to the park with me is this an asking sentence or a telling sentence you are correct. This is a telling sentence. And which of the sight words are we using here, boys and girls? You are correct. We're using he. And I see one more sight word. Which is that next sight word, boys and girls? Correct. Me. Me. All right, boys and girls. You are all right today. Let us continue. Now, I am going to introduce you to your new spelling words. So these are your new spelling words for this week. What is that, boys and girls? What is that picture? What type of animal is that? Remember, we have been reading the stories in the book. And 
I have mentioned that animal before. So what type of animal is that? That is a ram. That is a ram. Ram. R A M. Ram. What is that, boys and girls? What is that? That was also in the book. You are correct. That is a dam. That is a dam. Dam. D A M. Dam. How does the little girl look? How does the little girl's face expression look? You're right. She looks sad. Sad. S A D. Sad. And now, how does her face expression look? She looks mad, right, boys and girls? Mad. M A D. Mad. Do you remember the name of that dog? Do you remember the name of the dog? Yes, that is red. Red, capital R, E, D, red. So boys and girls, these are your spelling words and I want you to practice them every day. Now we are going to sing a song. Now we are going to sing a song. And the name of this song is Do You Know the Radish Man? So after two, one, two. Do you know the radish man, the radish man, the radish man? Do you know the radish man who likes to sing with me? Oh, he loves the letter R, the letter R, the letter R. Oh, he loves the letter R and likes to sing with me. Let us sing it one more time, boys and girls. Do you know the radish man, the radish man, the radish man? Do you know the radish man who likes to sing with me? Oh, he loves the letter R, the letter R, the letter R. Oh, he loves the letter R and likes to sing with me. All right, boys and girls. What sound or what letter do you notice in this store, in this song? What letter can you see in this song or can you hear in this song? You are correct. We can see the letter R. And today, we are going to learn how to write the lowercase r. Today, we are learning how to write the lowercase r. So, how do we write the lowercase r? How do we write the lowercase r? How do we write the lowercase r? From the middle, we draw a straight line down. We go back up and do a little curve around. Let us try it again. From the middle, we go. We draw a straight line down. We go back up and draw a little curve around. Now you try it, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls. Remember that we need to learn how to use our lines properly. So the blue line that you can see is the top line, the broken line is the middle line, and the red line is the bottom line. To write the lowercase r, we are starting from the middle line, and we draw a line straight down all the way to the red line, and then we go back up and curve a little bit around. So I want you to try writing the lowercase r in your whiteboard. So practice writing the letter r on your whiteboard. Now boys and girls, 
it's time to play a game so this week we have been learning the letter R and we said that the letter R makes the R sound the letter R makes the R sound now here I have four pictures here I have four pictures we need to we're going to see what it is that we're seeing and if it begins with the R sound we are going to circle it and match it to the letter R are you ready all right let us get started what is the first picture that you can see what is your the first picture yes that is a snail that is a snail and the snail begins with the r sound no right no let us move to the next picture that is a rose that is a rose those rose the rose begin with the r sound yes let us circle the picture and let us match it to the letter R let's go to the two pictures at the bottom what animal is that boys and girls what animal is that with the carrot that is a rabbit rabbit and the rabbit begins with the R sound yes let us circle it and match it to the letter R. Now, what type of animal is that, boys and girls? That is a tiger. That is a tiger. And the tiger begins with the R sound. No, it begins with the T sound. All right, boys and girls, very good. Now I want you to get your books, get your books, and you're going to turn to page 30. Get your books and you're going to turn to page that has three zero. 30. Three zero is 30. Are you there yet? All right. So in that picture, you can see the reef in that page you can see the reef I can see a raft I can see red I can see rat I can see a ram and I can see some also I can see words and blendings the words that I see is some, mass, and um. And today we are going to be learning new blendings. So the first blend that I'm seeing there is with the letter S and the letter E. So the letter S and the letter E. Eh, when we put them together they make one sound when we put them together they make one song and what song is that remember s, s makes the s sound and e makes the e eh sound so s so s and e makes the s eh sound s eh sound s eh, s eh. for example s eh t, s eh t, set set a set of cups let us continue 
another blend that we're seeing there is the letter E and the letter S. And what song does the letter E make? The letter E makes the E sound. The letter E makes the E sound. And the letter S makes the S sound. E, S, E, S, S, S. For example, R, E, S, T, R, E, S, T, Rest, Rest. And that's how you can start reading, boys and girls, by breaking your words and making and putting sounds together to form words as well. Let us continue. The book also has the letter E and M. The letter E and M. E and M. E and M. And E and M makes the M sound. M sound. For example, j e m j e m gem gem gem. And now we have one with three letters. We have one with three letters. We have the e. We have s and s. E, S, and S. But the double S will make one sound, which will be S. The double S will make one sound, S. So you won't say E, S, and S. So you're going to say S, S, E, S, S. Four, j r e s dress, dress, dress. All right, boys and girls. So remember to ask an adult to help you understand more about blends. So you can ask mom and dad to help you understand more about blends. And that's it for today, boys and girls. You are to complete pages 31 and 33 in the BRC Reading Book 1. Take care and I'll see you this afternoon for our math class.